to do a correct pressure test, you want to make sure that the plug's on the bottom. You want to make sure you have a seal on it. So we're going to put a seal and we're going to tighten up. And, and when you do a pressure test, you really want to make sure that the, there's no gear lube in the case when you do a pressure test. Just tighten up just a little bit. Once you start the threads, then I can just turn it. And then when we get to the bottom, we'll... All right. So we'll tighten it up real good. Make sure your O-ring on this tool is good. And we have it on pressure. Ten pounds, that's the spec, ten pounds, ten minutes. So you see the water coming out of there, but the true test, the way to do it, is to get some soapy water. There you go, look at that visual, huh? See the bubbles coming out? That gives it helps a little bit. We'll get this seal here too. There's a the prop shaft also, but the drive shaft seals are shot. Um, that shift shaft seal's holding. It's going down pretty quick. And the drive shaft seal. Hold on a second, let me come around here. Let's hit that water down. Um, and I'm filling it up. We don't see any bubbles creating like that one. Just a little suds from me spraying it, but no bubbles. So that's, that's good too. So, all right, let me put this over here. Look at those bubbles coming up. That's good. So, let's hold this right here. Let's leave this, um, this pressure gauge on here so then when we replace the seals, So we know this, all the other seals were good, so we'll just test this seal again. Um, Ten pounds is holding. And no bubbles. Now if you, if you start to leak, don't forget, always check your drain and fill seals too. Um, or your tool, you know. So I'll give a spray to the tool, make sure it doesn't leak. You know, but it's holding. 